no, he wanted to turn St Pancras into the People's Republic of St Pancras. And I thought, no, no way, we're, we're in London. He was obviously used to being obeyed. And some, Chi some Chinese people have said, if, if, so, if you were shouted at that, like that in China, you'd be taken off to the camps and, you know, because that shout puts the fear of God you in you. You would be playing the piano again. This whole thing is about your rights, my rights, my rights, and you can't do this. And I thought, blimey, yeah. we are in London town and I've got a bunch of Chinese people from the Communist Party telling me what I can't do. You may have seen the news that the piano at St Pancras Station has been sealed off for public use. The events that led to this outcome involve a boogie-woogie pianist and a group working for Chinese TV. The incident has turned into a culture war with much engagement across social media and the original video posted on Kavanaugh's YouTube channel has amassed over 6 million views. But what really happened? Here's what we know. Brendan Kavanagh, aka Dr K Boogie Woogie, is a pianist YouTuber with over 2.2 million followers. Kavanagh will often live stream his performances, which is exactly what he was doing on Friday at St Pancras Station. During Brendan's stream, the Chinese group approached him and asked him to stop filming them due to a non-disclosure agreement they have with their company. Brendan explains that as the UK is a free country, anyone can film. Can the Chinese Jeffries have a go? Oh yeah, of course, of course we've got the Chinese here. Do you, do you want me to, I will see because we're here big for Chinese TV as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Did you think as all of us in your cameras? Uh, are you are we, are we, uh, I don't know, are we allowed? Well. No, no. We're, we're not allowed. Yeah, yeah, so we, we're yeah. not allowed? You're not allowed because, because we're for Chinese TV. Oh, okay. This is non disco. So. It's not disco? Yeah, not, not it's disposable. Not for, it's no disco? It's, it's not disposable. It's not disposable? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So did, did you think the part that we're... So we're, 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 getting, we're getting trouble uh, with the Chinese but government? Maybe not. I don't know. But you said you can't jump in. No, no, they'll put you in prison, mate. So, <laughs> so just say that, according to the Japanese, Chinese law, we're not allowed to film you, is that right? So that's basically, um, yes. we will much appreciate it when you are, whatever you're doing, that oh, you yes. don't put our face on, on, oh. on, on yes, TV. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. so what, what will happen if, if, if you... Just don't do it, please. I, I will really appreciate that. Okay. We, we just very yeah. sensitive about this. Mm. I'm yes. really, really okay. sorry. Um, we cannot share our images online. Why? Yeah, but there's because no reason. Why? We, that's our choice. That's our right. Oh, so it's, it's not a legal thing? It is a legal thing because oh. this is our right what we're protecting and we want don't want our voice, our images okay. to be revealed online. I'm really appreciating it. This is not your fault, obviously, yeah. and this is not our fault, obviously. That we, ha we have our own agreement with other people that we cannot be shown online. Okay. We are so sorry about this. So who, who's allowed to record you then? Uh, just, just making sure you're not recording us, yeah? Because if you are recording us, that when we are saying this, you're still recording, and then we will put a legal action into it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we will put a legal really? action into it. For what? We will. Legal and, action I'm sorry, this is the end of the conversation. This is our right we're protecting, and that's it. But what right? I don't understand. Image right. Image right? Yeah, we're not sharing this are, image right. Are you right. from China? I, I, that's not a question. We, the only thing we are arguing is that yeah. We are protecting our own image, right? You're not sharing. But this, we're in public. Yeah, exactly. No, no sharing. So we're not allowed no to share. No sharing. Share. Yes, no sharing. Us, share it yourself. That's fine. No sharing. Us. We're you not are in, in a free communist country. China now, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. This is reasons now. We have. No, no we're not in communist China. We're in a free country. I'm sorry to bring it up, Brendan. No, this is. We're, 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 we're in a free country, mate. We can film where we want. The situation escalates when Brendan handles one of the Chinese women's flags, to which the man arguing with Brendan shouts, "Stop touching her." They also take offence to Brendan's claims that they are holding a communist flag. We are in Britain, Great Britain, we're not in I, China. I say I'm also British, I'm also British, okay? I'm also British. You're, you're, I'm also British, but I don't want to use my image. You've got a Chinese flag there. It doesn't matter. Show me the Chinese flag. Why are you touching her? Stop touching her! Don't touch her, please. Do not touch her. Please, you are not the same age. The police then get involved and appear to reprimand Brendan. Brendan's live stream went viral as he has garnered lots of support from across the globe. On Monday, Brendan told Mike Graham that this was now a diplomatic incident and he believed MI5 were involved. You know, and uh, basically he just made a fuss about nothing and now he's a YouTube star and yes. now we've created an international diplomatic incident with the Chinese and I do believe that MI5 are involved. Since Brendan's video was posted, the lady at the centre of the storm has posted her own response. 
She said they were there to film Chinese New Year greetings for a company and that they were waiting to use the piano to film next to it and waited for 40 minutes for Brendan to vacate it. As they explained to Brendan during his live stream, due to a non-disclosure agreement with the company they are working for, none of their own footage could be published online. Now, it must be noted that a non-disclosure agreement only applies to signing parties. It cannot affect people who are third parties. The woman goes on to say that she was unaware Brendan was live streaming on YouTube, but that Brendan had already taken multiple videos of them all. She mentions that Brendan had deliberately labelled the group as Japanese. Let's take a look at that. Hello, are you, are you from Japan? No, I'm from China. They're from Japan. There's a load of Japanese people here doing... Can you see them? There's all sorts of stuff. We've got a Japanese TV crew in the station. This is actually quite confusing, as it appears this man, Jim, says he's got a Japanese crew with him making a film about public pianos. Although Brendan is told that the group behind him is in fact Chinese, he does make reference to the group being Japanese a few more times. You're here with the illustrious Chinese... Uh, or Japanese, even. Tell, tell us what you're... Just, just for the people watching, just yeah, tell them sure. why you're here, because Jim is the production manager for a Japanese TV crew who are actually here in St Pancras recording, so just tell people what you're... And we first, I first met Brendan when we were doing exactly the same programme five years ago. Now, we're making another programme about the, the public piano, uh, but this time we're... For using, Japan? For, for, Japan. for Japan, yeah, and we're using a presenter this time, a Japanese, uh, young Japanese... So, uh, oh, I like them. Nice. Know, Did you see? Get, look at these. Hello. Oh, wow. Hello. 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 Are you are you from Japan? No, I am from China. Oh. Are you? Are, are, are you? She part of your crew? No, no, no. I thought she was part no, of your crew. No, no, we're, we're working for we're working for Japanese yeah. television, oh. and the young lady is Chinese. Yeah, they're friends. Oh, they're oh, from here, please. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, what's, your, what's your name? My name is Adelina. Oh, Brendan. Oh, very very nice to meet you. Do you play? Brendan goes on to play what the Chinese woman refers to as a discriminating song, Ching Jang Hanji, which is used as a popular meme. Some have argued that the meme is racist as it depicts Tom from Tom and Jerry as a stereotypical Chinese person. However, this has been much debated as many others don't agree. Eric Kaufman, Professor of Politics at the University of Buckinghamshire, joined Brendan as a guest on The Mike Graham Show. I spoke to him earlier to find out his thoughts on the whole affair. So what did you make of this incident? Who do you think is in the wrong? Well, I mean, I think there's a couple of things going on. I mean, the first is obviously the attitude of the tour group who kind of took uh, that kind of CCP authoritarian view and kind of more or less transplanted it into another country, um, you know, full scale. That was one thing, but I think the, the bigger thing that drew my attention was really the response of the authorities, the, the, the British police in particular, uh, and also the way the CCP people uh, weaponized uh, the racism charge. So to me, that that the, the response of the police and the, the, the way the CCP narrated it very much sort of showed you how central uh, the what John McWhorter calls the religion of anti-racism, the fact this is such a sacred taboo in Western societies means it's something that, that Chinese communists can weaponize and it's also something that the police will will run scared of. And I think that was that's really what came out, out of it for me. Do you think there was any provocation from Brendan Kavanagh as some on social media have claimed? I think no, because I think he, Brendan was really standing for a, a broader principle, which is our freedoms, that that we have the right to, to film, to speak, whatever. Um, people have the right to ask not to be filmed, but they don't have a right to be obeyed. And if someone decides that they're going to keep filming, then you've just got to accept that because their freedom comes first over your sensitivities. And I think that's really the point, that it's about defense of all of our uh, personal freedoms and right to you know, right to exercise our, our personal freedoms in a modern Western society. Why do you think the police seem to have taken the side of the Chinese group? Well, I think what you see is a kind of confluence of, of CCP authoritarianism and the kind of progressive illiberalism, which, which says that people being offended, various kinds of sensitivities are more important than uh, freedom of speech. It's a question of which do you value more? 
And what I think in the case of the police is that they're the kind of value system that they had internalized is the progressive illiberal one, which places uh, sensitivity or, or even uh, the potential sensitivity of the most sensitive possible person in society. That's more important than your right to express yourself. And on the CCP side, I think it's more just that the state authority and what it wants is more important than the right your right to express yourself. I think both are forms of authoritarianism. Uh, one comes from the state, and then the other, in the in the British case, I think comes from uh, a, a progressive ideology, which which I would call woke, and I, and I think that's an accurate term, uh, which permeates institutions, is driven by activists within institutions. What did you make of the decision to seal off the piano at St Pancras Station? Uh, I think that's. A worrying decision. I think it it shows again the the priority that is given to um, essentially those who are offended or claim to be offended. That they have a veto uh, over public space. Now it seems that that's deemed more important by the police than uh, protecting people's right to free expression. I think that's what's most worrying here, um, and I think it shows. I mean, the police are simply reflecting a kind of consensus within elite circles in society, which put uh, not offending people um, above people's right to freedom of expression, freedom of conscience. And this also revolves around really the sacredness of race, gender and sexuality, the whole sort of holy trinity of the identity complex, whereby anything that gets close to that is uh, radioactive and anyone in a position of authority essentially goes running because they don't want to be accused of the highest crimes, which would be sort of being a racist, a sexist, a transphobe, et cetera. I mean, so I think it illustrates the power of these totems, which, which are the highest belief system of uh, elite institutions in our society. Now, as this story has snowballed, social media sleuths have been investigating those involved. It's been claimed that this girl is actually being sued in China for violating somebody else's image rights. While this girl here has been pictured with none other than Jeremy Hunt. At the time of recording, St Pancras Station has cordoned off the piano, which was donated by Elton John, and put two guards on either side. They claimed the closure is for maintenance work. This is certainly not going to be the last we hear of this story. Who do you think is in the right? Let us know in the comments below.